On April 28, 1988, Aloha Airlines Flight 243 had lost a large section of its roof. How did this happen? Who was responsible? And what was the outcome? Today, we are going to be taking a look at Flight 243. Welcome to Critical Navigation, I am your host Aiden, and today we are going to be taking a look at the story of Flight 243, a story about a plane that had lost a huge piece of its roof. It all started on April 28, 1988. The airplane had made short flight between the islands of Hawaii and was going to be taking its ninth flight of the day. The plane was 19 years old and had made over 89,000 flights, and only one other plane has beaten this record. Captain Robert Schornsteimer was the captain of the plane, and Mimi Tompkins was going to be flying the plane. They were pretty experienced considering that Rob had 85,000 flight hours and over 11 years of experience. The plane had taken off at 1.25 p.m., and the plane was now climbing higher and higher. At 1.45 p.m., the plane was at cruising height and everything had seemed fine until something unexpected happened. At 1.48 p.m., an explosive decompression had ripped off an 18-foot section of the roof of the plane. The only thing keeping the passengers in their seats were their seatbelts. When Captain Robert looked behind him, he knew what he had to do. He started to drop the plane down to 322 miles per hour and was trying to keep things under control as good as he could. Since the plane was so high, there wasn't enough breathing oxygen for the passengers, so the pilot had to lower the plane so the passengers could breathe. They now had to find a place for the plane to land, although there was another problem. The nose of the plane had been tilting down and the only thing holding the plane together were the floor beams. They had found out that the only place to land was an airport at the island of Maui. Mimi Tompkins was going to have to make contact with the airport. They were able to make contact with them and explain what had happened and ask for an emergency landing. The pilot starts to land the plane and turns it to the runway, although he found out that if he went under 195 miles an hour, that the plane would lose control. He had to maintain the speed, which was very dangerous. The crew lowered down the landing gear, and at 1.58pm, the plane had successfully landed and everyone was okay. After the plane had stopped, everyone was boarded off. 65 people were injured and Clarabelle Hull Lansing had been thrown out of the plane and had died. Her body was never found. After this had happened, a passenger had reported a crack in the fuselage. However, she decided not to report it. So, what had caused this to happen? Well, the plane was made in 1969, which had made it 19 years ago, and was only made for 75,000 flights. The plane had made over 89,000 flights, which is way more than it was meant for. The cause of the roof coming off was caused by the tiny crack in the fuselage. After the plane had landed and the passengers abandoned the plane, it was dismantled at the airport. So, who was responsible for this event? Well, Aloha Airlines had not really done what they were supposed to do when it came to inspections, and since they had not done their job like they were supposed to, this was the outcome. And that, my friends, is the story of Flight 243. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to please subscribe if you want to check out my channel. Of course, it's Extreme Dubstep. You'll more than likely see a comment from me on this video. And we'll all see you next time, and until then, I am your host, Aiden, signing out.